An AI agent is a powerful mind, capable of writing code, analyzing data, and even creating art. But for a long time, it's been a mind trapped in a box. It could think, but it couldn't do. It had all the knowledge from its training, but it was blind to the real world, to the live, ever-changing data that runs our lives. How do you connect this powerful brain to the outside world so it can actually book your flight, check your inventory, or analyze a live stock feed? For years, the answer was something called an API. Think of an API as a waiter in a restaurant. You, the customer, can't just walk into the kitchen and grab your food. You need a go-between. The waiter, the API, takes your order, delivers it to the kitchen, and brings the food back to you. It's a set of rules that lets different software applications talk to each other. When an app on your phone shows you the weather, it's using a weather services API. When you log into a website using your Google account, that's an API at work. For a long time, this was how we connected AI to the world, too. Simple, direct, and it worked. But as AI got smarter, more creative, and more unpredictable, this simple waiter system started to break down. The cracks began to show, revealing a fundamental problem that was holding AI back from its true potential. And the solution required a completely new way of thinking about how AI connects to everything. The problem with the waiter analogy is that traditional software is a very polite customer. It orders directly from the menu. An AI agent, on the other hand, is like a creative, improvisational chef who walks in and says, what ingredients do you have? I have an idea. The waiter, our traditional API, just isn't prepared for that conversation. APIs were built for a world of predictable, deterministic commands. Get me this specific piece of data. Perform this exact function. But AI agents are non-deterministic. You can give two AI agents the same prompt and get two completely different responses. This unpredictability creates massive headaches for rigid API structures. The AI might try to call an API in an unexpected way, send the wrong kind of data, or misunderstand the context entirely, leading to errors, or worse, security vulnerabilities. This leads to what developers call the M times N integration problem. Imagine you have a dozen different AI models, M, and you want them to connect to hundreds of different tools and services, N. With traditional APIs, you'd have to build a custom, hand-coded integration for every single pair. Each API has its own unique rules, its own documentation, its own security protocols. It's a logistical nightmare that simply doesn't scale. Furthermore, traditional APIs are static. If a developer adds a new feature to their service, the AI agent has no way of knowing it exists. A human developer would need to go in, read the new documentation, and manually update the agent's code to use that new feature. The AI is perpetually stub in the past, unable to adapt on its own. It became clear that for AI to truly evolve, it couldn't rely on a system designed for a bygone era of software. It needed its own language, a universal standard built from the ground up for the chaotic, creative, and context-driven world of artificial intelligence. In late 2024, a company called Anthropic, the creators of the AI Claude, introduced a groundbreaking open source standard called the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. Think of it like the invention of the USB-C port for artificial intelligence. Before USB-C, every device had its own unique, frustratingly different charger. Now, one standard cable can connect your phone, your laptop, your headphones, and more. MCP aims to do the same thing for AI. It creates one standardized, universal way for any AI application to connect to any external system, tool, or data source. So how does it work? MCP establishes a common language that AI models can use to ask a simple, powerful question. What can you do? An AI agent connects to what's called an MCP server, a smart adapter wrapped around a tool or database and can instantly discover all the capabilities that service offers. The server responds with a standardized list of its tools, which are actions the AI can perform, and its resources, which is data it can read. For example, a GitHub MCP server might offer tools like create issue or list repositories. A Google Calendar server would have tools like schedule event. This process is called dynamic discovery, and it's a complete game changer. The AI no longer needs to have its capabilities hard-coded by a developer. It can explore, learn, and adapt in real time.
If you add a new Summarize Code tool to your GitHub server, every AI connected to it can start using that function immediately without a single line of code being rewritten. This was the missing link, the key that could finally unlock the box and let the AI mind interact with the world in a truly fluid and intelligent way. So let's put these two technologies in the ring. On one side, we have the veteran, the reliable application programming interface, or API. On the other, the challenger, the AI native model context protocol, or MCP. The biggest difference is their design philosophy. APIs are general purpose connectors for any software. MCP was built specifically for the unique needs of AI and large language models. This leads to the next major distinction, discovery. With a traditional API, an AI's capabilities are fixed. A developer has to read the manual and pre-program everything the AI can do. With MCP, discovery is dynamic. The AI can ask what's possible at any given moment and adapt its strategy on the fly. Then there's standardization. Every API is a unique beast, requiring a custom integration. MCP is a universal standard. Once a developer makes their service compatible with MCP, any AI that speaks the language can connect to it. This build once, integrate many approach solves the scaling nightmare of the old system. This dramatically simplifies development. Instead of writing endless glue code to stick different APIs together, developers can focus on what their tools do best, knowing the MCP will handle the connection. While this sounds like a total victory for MCP, there is a trade-off. Direct API calls are often faster. The extra reasoning step where an AI has to think about which MCP tool to use can add a little bit of latency. For high-speed predictable tasks, a hard-coded API might still be the better choice. But for creating complex, adaptable, and truly intelligent agents, MCP's flexibility offers a power that traditional APIs simply can't match. Now, it would be easy to frame this as a battle where the new technology comes to destroy the old, but that's not the reality at all. MCP isn't here to replace APIs. In fact, in most cases, MCP servers are actually built as intelligent wrappers around existing APIs. Think of it like this. The API is the kitchen staff. They know how to cook the food, how to perform the core functions of the service. The MCP server is the new, highly trained head waiter who speaks every language. This waiter knows how to talk to the creative, improvisational AI customer, understand their complex requests, and then translate them into the precise, simple orders the kitchen staff, the underlying API, is used to. A developer can take their existing, powerful API and, with very little new code, wrap it in a thin MCP layer. This gives them the best of both worlds. They keep their robust, reliable API infrastructure, but now it's accessible to a new generation of AI agents through a standardized, discoverable, and AI-friendly interface. They aren't enemies fighting for dominance. They are two different layers of a modern AI technology stack, working in perfect harmony. This synergy is what's enabling the next wave of powerful AI applications we're beginning to see emerge. This isn't just a theoretical concept. The MCP revolution is already happening. AI assistants like Claude can now use MCP to connect to tools like Google Drive and Slack, allowing them to do things like find the latest sales report and share it with your team, all from a simple chat prompt. In the world of software development, AI coding assistants in environments like Cursor are using MCP to get real-time access to your code on GitHub. They can browse files, understand the context of your project, and even help you manage issues, drastically speeding up the development process. We're even seeing MCP used to connect AI to creative tools. Imagine describing a 3D model in plain English and having an AI use MCP to control Blender and build the scene for you. 
or asking an AI to design a mobile app login screen and watching it use an MCP connection to Figma to create the design right before your eyes. From managing complex IT security operations to helping financial teams negotiate with vendors, MCP is turning AI from a passive information source into an active, autonomous workforce. Each of these examples would have once required an enormous amount of custom, brittle integration work. Now, with a universal protocol, a whole ecosystem of AI-ready tools is exploding into existence, paving the way for agents that are not just intelligent, but genuinely useful. For decades, APIs were the invisible workhorses of the internet, the humble waiters that allowed our digital world to function. They built the bridges that connected islands of software into a thriving ecosystem. But the arrival of true artificial intelligence presented a challenge they were never designed to meet. The rigid, predictable structure of the API couldn't keep up with the dynamic, context-aware needs of an AI agent. The Model Context Protocol, MCP, wasn't designed to tear down those bridges, but to build a smarter, more universal layer on top of them. It provides a common language, a shared understanding that allows the creative mind of an AI to finally communicate effectively with the powerful tools of the digital world. By shifting from static, hard-coded connections to dynamic, discoverable capabilities, we are finally unlocking the door, letting the AI out of the box and empowering it to not just think, but to act. The future of AI isn't just about building smarter models. It's about building smarter connections. And with technologies like MCP leading the way, that future is arriving faster than we ever imagined. If you found this video fascinating, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the technologies shaping our world. Thanks for watching.